Rugman is from this year, man. It's like from my hairiness. <laughs> it is quite like I started shaving when I was like 12 or something. <laughs> I remember my mum showed me a, um, it was a kind of like a career path sort of thing from school. And I, th I think it must have been around 10. And I, I did say I wanted to be a graphic designer. So that early. First of all, I did a, a foundation course almost in, in general art. And then went from there straight down to Chelsea Art School. When you're younger, you think fine art is basically a big posh gallery. So I thought, a working class boy from Glasgow, I'm never going to be a, an artist. It took me a long, long, long time, in fact, probably up to about four or five years ago, to actually say I'm an artist. The working class lad never ever wanted me to say that. You know, I was west coast of Scotland, brought up Catholic, uh, dragged up Catholic, and, and I used to hate going to Mass. But the one thing I did love, for example, the gold halos, which I use a lot, um, the, the whole saint thing, where I kind of adopt that, but make somebody like, you know, Johnny Cash sing when he was bad as fuck. My style, in terms of, is very, like, very punk, in the sense of it's very handmade. I tend to use a lot of black line, and then try and sort of like brighten it up with tends to be neons, like really punchy colours. I'm always drawn to that and I think it actually is part of the skateboard sort of generation of, of the graphics, especially when the, the, in the 80s when the, the silk screen graphics were, you know, uh, they were really bold, but the black line was like a massive part of it. Motorbike culture, skate culture, punk culture, marries into the, the melting pot of what, what is the, the sort of like epicenter of my work and it's tattoos. You know, I like to see old 70 year old guys with really shit tattoos that they've probably done themselves in prison. I like that sort of thing. And I, I like the, the sort of hand done stuff. And it's that age, that rustic -y, you know, when they, when they start to bleed out in the skin. That, that kind of relates also to my, my pen work because I, th I hate things that are too perfect. My wife, right, was going through a really hard time, probably about two or three years ago in, in, in work, without getting into too much detail, being bullied, and she's got nothing but love to give out. And obviously I couldn't just bust in work and start like, you know, <laughs> windmilling and battering people. So I thought, like, how can I, how can I somehow give her something, you know, as a, as a symbol of trying to protect her? So the, the, the first helmet I actually done, it says, fuck you. I'll, up the side, that's the, the very first one I did. And I, I gave it a little miniature one and just said like, that's your protection. The rainbow is obviously giving it a lot of love whilst like, telling the, the haters to fuck off, basically. Skinny and I have known each other a few years. Yeah, we're good, really good pals. We hang out, I go to your studio. Being able to do a collaboration with him is, is perfect. I love it. I, I, I collect toys. I've collected toys for years, and I always wanted to try and make a sort of like physical 3D, 2D version of something that I uh, had worked on. And I tried it myself, and then obviously, he's the master. So, so really, you've got a print edition, you've got an original painting on canvas, and you've got five beautiful little kind of like 3D pieces. I don't know. I'm just. I'm quite attracted to the actual physical. <laughs> the physical helmet. <laughs> <laughs> I love helmets, me too.